Hello and welcome to Somewhat Interesting. Today I'm going to be showing you the first update of a game I'm developing called The Endlings. It sort of has a Smash Brothers aspect to it in that it's a fighting game where instead of having a health bar, your damage will go up and then you'll get launched farther every time you get hit. However, it actually plays a lot differently because every time you get hit, you get thrown upwards as opposed to outwards in the direction you were hit. And also, there are absolutely no punch or kick or any melee attacks. It's all projectiles. And as little as those two things sound, it actually makes a humongous difference. So I'll just let the gameplay speak for itself. Uh, I'm using the Unity game engine to make it, and I've been working on this for about three weeks. Uh, I've only known how to code for about a year and a half or two, so it's actually not that hard. I might do a tutorial if this video gets 20 likes and enough people comment that they want it. So yeah, uh, everything that you see in this game so far, from the animation to programming to design, was all made only by me, excluding the illustration of the characters, which was done by a friend of mine who will be doing all the illustration for the game. So. Let's just hop in to the title screen. So first, what you're seeing here is the Unity Editor. And I'm thinking about making this a series, but um, for now, I will show you. I have my two controllers right here that I'm gonna be playing with, but uh, the controllers are actually not linked with this menu screen. And of course, this is the very, very, very early version of the game. This is not what it will look like in the end, but here you go. Right now, there's Brawl Mode, Story Mode, and Arcade Mode. So Story, it's a story. What do you expect? Um, it's gonna be sort of similar to Cuphead, if you know what that game is. Uh, and then Arcade Mode, that's just gonna be a ton of fun versions of the Brawl Mode. And the Brawl Mode is the main thing. It's where you fight each other. So I'm gonna just jump into that. So, if I were to mute this audio, because that's really loud for me. All right, so, uh, so far there are five different animals. So an endling for reference is the last of its species. So here are your five animals uh, that I have so far. There's gonna be about 19 animals by the end of the game, well, end of development, and also a poacher. Those are gonna be the 20 characters. I might add more, maybe a little bit less, but probably more, because I am a big fan of having a lot of characters. So I'm just gonna go through and show you all these. Uh, I'm only here with myself, so I can't get a player too. However, I did create AI for this game and that was really difficult, but um, again, I can make a tutorial for that if enough people want it, but I'm honestly expecting this video to get no more than 20 views. So if you're watching this and this has more than 20 views, then I um, guess I was wrong. All right, so first I'm gonna show you the monkey character. So monkey and then also I'm gonna grab my other controller and I'm gonna join and then I'm gonna use spider um, so I can show you both of those right now so spider is actually the only character that has zero graphics so this little box right here this is going to be spider um, nice all right so this character on your left is the monkey so it's fully animated um, it's a little like a little human monkey dude but so each character in this game actually has um, four different moves they can do, while well, excluding running left and right, um, and jumping, of course. So you got your main attack, which that's just gonna be your basic attack you can do every, like about 0.4 to 0.6 seconds, somewhere in that range. So for the monkey, it's gonna be throwing this banana, which it's gonna go out and then it's gonna curve back. And it might seem sort of basic, but it can actually be used in many creative ways. And personally, Monkey might be my favorite character so far. Um, so if you see in the top left here, you have, so your character's name, and then you have zero P and then three lives. So basically, how you get killed in this game is either if you A, fall off right here, here, or just the sides in general, but that's only basically your choice or your mistake. The real way you get killed here is if you go off this very top of the screen right here, and of course this is in the editor, but um, so it, there's like a little gray bar here, but in the actual game when you're playing, uh, you're just gonna fly off the top and as soon as you cannot see your entire body, you will die and you will see that soon. So your little P thing right here, the higher this is, 
the more you'll be launched up. So if I'm gonna throw these bananas at the spider, notice right here, he has 15 feet now. Now he's 30, 45, and notice how every time I'm hitting him, he's getting launched even more. You can actually do combos, so you hit him in the air, go up there, and boom, a kill that early. You actually can't kill them on the ground right here until they're at 270p for most characters. Uh, the B and a few lighter characters are a little bit uh, lower, but there is this thing called jump stopping. So basically, if I'm being hit a lot and I click jump as the spider, then it's going to stop my velocity and I'm actually going to uh, prevent myself from going too high, which is it's basically saving yourself. It's hard to explain in video, uh, but you'll see me once I'm playing the AI later in the video, uh, me doing it, and I'll be explaining that. So I'm just gonna show you the rest of the abilities for all the characters, cause you get the rough idea. So, Monkey, as I said, you got the banana, does 15p each, and then you have this chargeable banana. You can charge it for up to five seconds, and the longer you charge it, the more it's actually gonna home in on the other player. It does a constant 30 damage and um, lasts for five seconds. But notice how it was following me really tightly there. Now if I were to only do that for a minimum of one second, it's gonna turn much slower and gonna be much easier to dodge. And oh, I just activated the spider ability. Uh, so that's one of the monkey's abilities. You can also use this to stop your velocity, just like the jump stop, uh, which I will probably also be using. And then you finally, your second ability is a lunge. So right there. Um, and I don't know if I actually finished um, telling you what the four things you could do were earlier because I'm a little bit scatterbrained. But um, you got the banana, which is your main attack. You got your special ability one. You got your special ability two. And then you got your ultimate. Now ultimates, I have not worked on yet. But in a future update episode, I will be showing you guys my uh, under 20 viewers, or hopefully more, um, I will be showing you guys what the ultimates look like. So, there's the monkey, the basic outline. Seems pretty basic, but once you put it into a game, there's so many strategies you can do, and actually, it's really fun. So, now I'm gonna be playing as the spider with absolutely no animation, so the box. All right, so. First, you just got your uh, your auto-firing spider web. So these just do 10 damage each, no special effects, but I don't have to click the shoot button, which is square on a PS4 controller for reference. I don't have to click this every time I wanna shoot. I can just hold it down. Spider's actually the only character so far of the five that uh, does have automatic firing. So it does 10 damage each, it's pretty basic. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, if you do hit the other person, your cooldown for your main attack, so for spider it's 0.4 uh, seconds and for monkey it's 0.6 seconds, your cooldown's actually going to go down to 0.2 and you're going to be have the ability to double jump again, even if you've already double jumped in the air. Every character can double jump by the way. So this basically allows you to do stuff like this and combo them off the top if you're really good and it just honestly makes the game much more interesting because you can go from losing and having like 200p and the other person only having 50p and then you can get a killer combo on them and it's just really cool so for spider you got the webs and then you got your actual spider web so this first one that's red basically if i were to touch this as the monkey i'm going to be dealt 25 damage it's pretty dang simple um it's actually really useful though and um, you can sort of trap people. So let me let me try to play as both characters. So if I were to jump into that, you see I take 25 damage. And um, yeah, also you have a stun web. So this is a white web. It's the same length as the damage web. And if the monkey runs into it, it gets stunned for just under two seconds. And that is one of the best moves in the entire game. So. As a monkey, I'm just spamming jump, and that's how long the stun is. So there you go. And those are the first two characters. I'm going to be showing you actual gameplay by the end. So if you want to skip ahead and not know what the characters are actually doing, you can feel free to do that. But, of course, if you want to actually know what the characters do, then continue to watch this section. And uh, now I'm going to be showing you Elephant and Gorilla the third and fourth of five characters. So Elephant, uh, you just you shoot peanuts, which is ironic because I have a peanut allergy. 
Um, so, yeah, you can shoot peanuts and... Oh my god. Well, there's a glitch that this bee is here. That's not supposed to show up right now, but you know what? That's not important. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... This elephant, yep, as I said, shoots peanuts, do 13 damage, shoots relatively slowly. It's more of a secondary thing, because um, you also have this. Bruh. Yeah, so you can shoot it for as long as you want, uh, or as long as I just did right there. Uh, and the cooldown's relatively short, I can already do it again. I can only move this fast. Um, but it's not as overpowered as you would think, but it is useful. And then finally, Elephant, you also have a little heal right there, which is also a perfect jump stop. So if I were to do this when I was being launched in the air, I would just stop in place. So it's really good for escaping a combo. And also every time you do it, you heal five health and you can do that every three seconds. So it is a nice addition. Also with Gorilla, so this is your short range character and ignore the B, I'm sorry about that. Um, so, you're going to have these little short-range uh, red things right here. They're like little, um, uh, what are they called? The uh, shockwaves, yeah. Shockwaves created by your little clap right here. Yep, of course, definitely realistic. Um, so, each of these do 20 damage, but as you can see, they're really, really short-range. Uh, then you have your uppercut. So, if you click circle, oh, wrong one. Uh, that's actually a stun shockwave, so it's similar to the spider. It stuns the person for 1.3 seconds, I believe. It's pretty dang useful. Um, and then you have your uppercut, so <laughs> stupid little animation, but it actually does, uh, I think, 25 damage. Let me ta uh, check. Boom. And there you go, 25 damage. And then also, if you do that on the ground, yeah, it's going to do the uppercut, but if you do it in the air, a little dive. And how convenient. Since we have the B here, I don't even have to uh, do it separately. Thank God for glitches. Um, so, this B, what it's going to do is when you click your main attack, it's going to shoot just a B forward. And it's actually going to, it's going to be similar to the spider where it just shoots um, just a normal projectile forward. However, it's actually going to bend slightly. I don't know if you can really tell, but um, it bends toward the other player. And then if I were to do it here you can see the bend a little bit more so it does sort of home in that is sort of nice uh and then also with the b you have two pretty dang cool abilities so your first one this is actually going to shoot out five very small bees uh rapidly and they're only going to do three damage each however they are going to home in no matter where you go ooh, ooh, for a pretty short amount of time and if they hit you um, and you're at high damage, they're basically gonna confirm a kill, so it actually is really nice. And then finally you have a little like B dash, so that's gonna be like, you see that? And I can actually do that in any direction, so uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, one sec, there we go. And those are all the characters so far, so now for some actual gameplay. Alright, so let's play some Brawl. Who do you guys want me to use? Oh wait, I'm talking to myself in an office right now, so you can't respond to that. But if you do want to see these characters in action, leave a comment below and I'll post it in the next video. Um, for the under 20 people probably watching this. Alright, I'll start off with B and I'm going to go against, uh, close my eyes and choose one. I'm going to go against Monkey, okay. Now you have your four difficulty settings here. Easy is going to be ridiculously easy. I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever played a video game should be able to be easy without a doubt. Uh, it's more of for testing stuff out. Uh, normal difficulty is going to be for your people who aren't very good at video games but do want to casually just play it. Hard is going to be for people that just kind of want to like they're pretty pretty good at the game and generally good at video games you can at least you can put up a fight with hard me i've played this game obviously for three weeks since i have to play test it every single day and now i'm i'm able to beat hard nearly every single time uh with very few exceptions to that so yep 
there's hard mode and insane is literally ridiculous how hard it is i'll show you insane at the very end of the video i have never beat no i take that back i've beaten insane one time and i have tried it probably 30 and keep in mind i'm the person who's making the game and i play video games so it's oh i'm not playing them now all right so let's do a hard monkey so you can see a real challenge so i'm the b and there is uh no sound effects yet but you'll see and also, I just finished B today. That's why they're that. Uh, what am I saying? That's why they're that. There was that glitch earlier. So I'm not the best B player. So I'm actually going to show you monkey gameplay after this. But uh, so you can see he he activated the homing banana. This is actually quite difficult to. Oh, oh the combos, the combos. It's quite difficult to um commentate and also play at the same time but you know i'm gonna do it because i'm just that cool all right so i've gotten this guy up to 187p so i'm gonna unleash the hive and boom kill them right there if that's not cool i don't know what is actually i can think of a lot of things that are cool and there i just did my little uh b dash thing i don't really have a name for it yet but um i just dashed through the banana and actually didn't take any knockback from it all right, so I'm gonna go for the combo now. Oh, there, I did a little dash to save myself. Sort of worked like a jump stop. I would have died there if I had not done that. Oh, and I'm going for the combo. Send out the hive, send out the hive. Oh, oh, he's dead, he's dead. Now, if you don't think this gameplay is cool, then uh, what's wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna just beat this guy he's only got one life and i have three now just for reference ah dang it my friend was playing a hard um computer player the other day and almost or no he actually lost um with the other ai having two uh what am i trying to say two lives left so you can sort of tell he is actually pretty good at video games like he's always puts up a fight with me when we play smash bros so, oh, I had to save myself there. Um, if he's unable to beat this guy on his first go around, you can tell hard. You do have to practice a little bit if you're not like a natural god at this game, like me, of course. All right, chill. Um, so, yeah. And there we go. It's one to one. However, he has 209p, and I have <laughs> a lot less. <laughs> Easy win right there. The B wins, and now I'm gonna go back the end link screen. This is created by HB Games. I actually have, um, well, HB Games is just me, but uh, I've actually created three apps on the App Store. Uh, Clorb, I'll, I'll leave all the names and titles in this uh, the description for the probably three people who are watching this who I don't know in real life. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I was just playing as B against Monkey, so let, let's try out some new characters. How about, I'll do Spider, and let's go again. Spider on Elephant is actually a pretty easy matchup for Spider, because it can counter a lot of Elephant's moves. So let's do the two close range characters. Spider and Gorilla on hard mode. Now the Gorilla AI is actually one of the hardest AI. Because all the AI are programmed differently, and I can, again, I can make a tutorial if you guys want me to on how to make stuff like this. It's actually not as hard as you would think. Of course, it's taken me about a year to get to this point where I can do this, all, like, all this stuff relatively easy. However, it probably wouldn't have if I would have had a better tutorial, and I think I could make you a very quick tutorial so you can make something like this game, or even better... It's like, oh, and get out of here, Gorilla Man. Um, I can, yeah, tutorial, whatever I was saying before. Now, here we go. Uh, the Gorilla is actually, as I said, the AI is much different. And that is because the Gorilla is entirely close range character. There's absolutely no reason for it to be out of range. And I just died there because look how, look how short range its shots are. Like, come on. So I had to program that a lot different than the monkey, for example. So it was a lot of time, but you know, I did it and that's what matters. All right, now I'm just gonna beat this guy. Um, cue some music so I don't have to commentate in this part. All right, get rid of the music, that, that was kind of fired. All right, put it back.
Now, if you notice, I just put the, uh, the stun back right there, and I actually unfortunately did not get him, but it's okay. And, oh, oh he's, he's really trying to get me right now. It's one to one. I'm only up by about 35, and for Gorilla, 35 is nothing, because all of, that's only two shots. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, and I actually have almost no, other than my actual normal jump, I have no jump stop, or like secondary jump stop, as Spider, which is one of its main weaknesses. Spider's actually one of the best characters other than that. Oh, got him with a stun, can I hit him with a kill, kill, come on, oh. Oh my god, it's right on the edge. I'm at 270, one shot will kill me unless I do a good jump stop every time. Oh, land right there. Oh, oh come on. Oh, and I win just barely. What a good game. That was bravo to that CPU right there. All right, so there we go. That was Gorilla versus the Spider. And now finally, you're not going anywhere without seeing an elephant versus no, you know what? Monkey's my favorite character. I'm gonna show you monkey versus elephant hard mode. And then I'll, I'll play some insane, just for those people who wanna see it. Uh, in the next episode, I'll actually have a lot more done um, because I'll probably do one of these every one to two weeks. Yeah, I'll probably make these weekly. I don't know. I'm very inconsistent. I actually used to have a YouTube channel and I, oh my God, get out of here. Uh, I used to tell people, oh, well, oh god, he, he's about to kill me. I used to tell people, oh, I'm coming back, like, daily uploads starting soon, but no. I, I failed every single time I said that and w would forget to daily upload after, like, two days. So, I'm not gonna promise anything. Alright, so, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge up the homing banana as much as I can, because the elephant is the lowest jumper, so I know he can't actually reach me if I'm that high. All right, and then I'm gonna send a few bananas to get my back. Oh, and look at that jump stop. Perfect, if I would not have timed, oh my God, that was close. Oh my God, that's close too. If I wouldn't have timed the charged banana right there, oh, I would have died earlier. Well, at least I got a few more shots in before I died. Oh man, this is actually a pretty intense game. Elephant is playing pretty dang well, not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, oh, come on now, oh, oh, okay, okay, oh, and get out of here, I st I have 205p, which is actually quite a bit, okay, look out, okay, look out there, um, so I'm on the verge of dying, oh my god, I barely missed it right there. I am on the verge of dying, but you know what? I have one more life, so that's what matters. Oh, and look at that. Oh my god, the jump stops. The jump stops are really, it, it's surprising how just being able to jump, because I was considering not adding that into the game, because it's very easy to take out. Um, uh, I was going to add it, but, or I wasn't going to add it, but then I realized it actually gives you a, or it makes the game a lot more like competitive and skilled because it's a lot more on timing of when you do stuff as opposed to just hoping to hit the other person. And ooh, can I end him right here? Oh my god, he's putting some damage on me though. I'm only 100 behind. Oh, 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 oh man, oh man. Oh, he's trying to hit him. He's trying to hit me with a little sauce. Oh, but I hit him with a sauce three for three against hard. Now, if I'm not a god at this game, again, who really is? Now, let me think. I played as B, played as Monkey, and I have played as Spider. Who have I not played as? Gorilla and Elephant. So, let me try, um, what should I do? I'll, I'll do some Elephant, or no, what am I saying? <laughs> click Elephant, or click Gorilla and then say Elephant. That makes sense. I'm going to do Gorilla, and I'm going to go against a, I'm going to do a insane Monkey. And you're going to see just how hard this is. Gorilla is probably one of the best matchups for Monkey. Well, I don't know about that, but you'll, you'll see. <laughs> All right, buddy. Monkey's probably the, honestly, the easiest uh, insane guy to go against, because all the other, 
Um, all the other ones are extremely hard. Grill is, it's just stupid how hard it is. I've never even gotten, I don't even think I've ever like taken a life off a gorilla uh, in, or on insane. Oh my God, and I'm, I'm already down. He's only at 100p. All right, let's see. Can I make a comeback and get my second insane win ever on camera? Oh my God, there we go. Only 60p taken and he's, He's almost already at 60p. I am doing, oh, oh, and that dive just saved me. Oh, but he gets me anyway. And he'll, again, only 100p. Can I hit him with a stun? I stunned him. Can I do a, oh, I can almost get a combo on him. Uppercut, oh, nope. Don't want to get in that position. I'm going to stun him and I'm going to go for the winning. Oh, oh. Yes, okay, there we go. 120p, it's one to one though. Who's gonna win it? Oh, okay. I'm putting damage on him, that's what matters. Oh, well, actually winning is what matters. Actually nothing matters. Oh my God, did you see that save? I clicked, I clicked dive at the last possible second and the jump stop right there is saving me. Please jump into it. Oh. I'm just gonna chill here for a second, okay. Oh, is he gonna? I hit him with a stun. Oh, he hit the jump stop at the very top. That would have killed him. That would have killed him. Oh, man. Real close. Right at the top right there. Oh, my God. That was the closest I've ever gotten. You know what? I, I can't go out. I gotta go out swinging. I'm gonna try it. If I lose, you know what? It doesn't matter. But I I'm not losing to this dang monkey. All right, we'll do... Gorilla versus Monkey, the rematch. This is the final match I'll be playing in update one of this game. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and please consider subscribing if you're not already. You probably are because like two people are gonna see this video, but that's not what matters. Also leave any suggestions. Oh my God, did you see that? I killed him in like 10 seconds. Get out of my screen. Oh my god. Can I hit him? Okay. Oh, that was a that was a bad stun combo. Oh, he's he's staying in the air though. That's 60 damage right there. Oh my god, he just Oh my god. That home that damn homing banana. Okay. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stun him and I'm gonna hit him with a double oh. Oh man, he was oh he, he wanted the sauce right there. Okay, get out of here. I'm actually winning for once. I'm actually genuinely winning. Let's not, don't choke. Don't choke. Uh, uh, what's my name on this channel? Somewhat interesting. Come on. I got this. I'm pro, ah, shoot. I just choked it. Now I'm only up by 60. I might change my name on this channel to HB Games because this is probably what I'll be up uh, updating. Uh, what am I saying? Posting on here, but again, we'll see. Ooh. Oh man, there we go. An actual win. That was, that was just great. Alright, so thank you for watching the video. I will be posting more of these. Make sure to leave a like if you didn't enjoy. And I mean, come on, you watched this far. I don't know how much or how long this was, but I'm guessing it was a while. So pat yourself on the back for that. Really appreciate it. And um, I mean, yeah, leave a comment if you want to see a tutorial or just version 2. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you found this at least somewhat interesting.